I hope you will enjoy this video tutorial and stay until the end as I pick five winners for the song of freedom written pattern. You will also find the written pattern of this design in my blog and it's for free. Enjoy. This is the material we need for this project. Um, I use this yarn. This is um, from Alice, Alice Diva Aura. It's the first time, oops, it's the first time I'm working with this yarn. As you can see, it has a very beautiful shining, um, shining effect. Now I'm just going to have to find the end. I double thread the silk yarn, silky, it's not made from silk though, just the effect is look like silk, but it's not silk, it's animal free. And I will put the link for you in the description box below, also in my blog about all the material that I use in this project. I double thread it together with the cotton, and this is how it turns out. And I also use this yarn. This is the same color. This is the one I already started with. So I combine these two threads together. This one is from Rico. And this one also Alice Bella. I forgot to tell you about this yarn. This is a new yarn. Actually, it's from lovecrochet.com. And I love, love this company because when you order from them, they send to you the package with a very beautiful bag. And um, yeah, I really love the customer service as well. This is paint box. <laughs> it's the first time I use this yarn actually. It's feel very nice. It's quite similar to Rico. It's also same weight, it's just different company. So yeah, I like both of them. It's very fresh. And if you want to order from lovecrochet.com, you can also use the link in the description box below. And this, these two make this nice effect I wanted to show you as well. This is the color that I combined together. It's very beautiful autumn. And I like the combination of this four skin together. And um, I will talk about this in a minute. And we will need a crochet hook. I use size six millimeter for this project. And a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. So I wanted to show you what I already made because we're going to repeat <laughs> this again. I already made the first part. In this project, we're going to have three parts of create this kimono, gypsy kimono. So this is the first part. Now I'm going to show you how to make this design. If you remember, I have a top called Temple Dance How to Top and have this design actually under the breast. And it's the same. I think the how to top that one I'm not sure if it's the link until here. I will put the link around here in the corner. You will see the eye icon and it will link you to how to make the temple dance top. And then you can also combine this design to make the top. And it's very simple because it's only from here to here is like nine rows and then we repeat it again. So I'm gonna show you how to make this and then I show you how many how long you need to make I make a small size xs actually extra small to small i'm not sure sometimes i wear small sometimes i wear extra small so this is will be perfect for extra extra small and small okay so now grab the yarn if you don't have um i show you the weight of this yarn. okay let me show you quick the weight of this yarn so this is Aura, Alice Aura. To zoom, this very shiny effect is 
Um, I have to put a little light, maybe. Yeah. This one is acrylic. It's wow. It's pure acrylic with poly polyimide. I normally don't use so much on this type of fiber, but I got it from SC shop where I got my Alice Deva dress. They were Deva dress, <laughs> and Ansalan he gave me this yarn to try. Actually, I really like the effect, and it's not silk. It just look like silk. For those who don't like to use animal product, this is the best. And all this project, this project, all the materials we use is vegan <laughs> let's say and this paint box that i got from crochet.com i really like their package though i i mean this one and also how they package everything when you buy the yarn from them so this paint box in color you see soft food what do you pronounce that soft food thick one zero so if you want to get the same one then you can also get this one forgot to tell you the aura number and is there any number here it should be you no know, the number of this one oh here yeah. here is the color it just says zero seven if you order from mr asalan in sc shop i will also put the link for his shop he offer 15 percent discount under my name maya luna 15 and this one is the same with this one. This one you can order from crochet.com. This is Rigo cotton. And I use the color. This is Aran, creative cotton Aran. The color is 77. 77. And crochet.com is always have discount. And they send worldwide all over the place. You can just go there with the link I provide you and then you can scroll down under and choose the country that you want there to ship you the yarn. This one is Alice Bella. It's also from SC shop from Mr. Asan and you can use the code to get 15% off. This one is the label Alice Bella. The color 5559. Five, five, mm. Okay, now we can start this. So first we're gonna put two, two strands together. I'm just gonna demonstrate size small XS and S. It cannot say XS for this because I think the Gimino is go just the size S M L X L something like this. And if you are smaller than S, you can wear this size as well. So I'm going to change forty and make a slip knot. You can make slip knot in any way you feel comfortable. This is how I make slip knot. I chain 40 so now I have 40 chain the multiple of 4 so I choose to make 40 I repeat myself again so when you have uh, the number of chain that you need then you make 3 more chain to build up the yarn and then when you make three more chain, one, two, three, you, you use your thumb to block out the last chain. So then you do the double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. We're going to do one double crochet in each stitch across to the end. So should count it so you make sure that you don't miss anything now I have complete 
one double crochet in each stitch across so I have 40 double crochet stitch here and now at the end I chain 4 then I turn the work I will skip the 2 stitch and I will put skip the first 2 stitch and I will put one double crochet in the in the next one these two from here i do not do anything i go here no these two i go here you see the four chain that i made here is count as one chain and one double crochet so i skip two double crochet stitch from the beginning and I put one double crochet into the next. Now I chain one and from now on I only skip one double crochet stitch and I go into the next one. Now I chain one again and I'm just gonna skip the next one I go into the next. And this is the pattern for this second row. Chain one, skip one and go into the next one. You will continue this until the end of the row like so and now I come to my last one you see this is the last this is the one that the last double crochet stitch of the row I skip that one and I go to the third this one the chain that we made from the beginning I put one double crochet in there and this is how I finish the second row so if you want to count I will have 12 boxes to make sure that I don't miss anything 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so if you make this size then you have 12 boxes just like me now we come to the third row. The third row is very simple. This is very simple design actually. Now we're gonna chain three. Simple and beautiful. <laughs> now we're gonna put one double crochet into this chain space, inside this chain space. And then, not single crochet, I mean, we put the double crochet in the chain space and then the next double crochet on top of the next double crochet stitch then the next one in the chain space and this is the design of the third row you keep continuing this one double crochet into the chain space and one double crochet on top of the double crochet from previous row and you continue like so till the end of the row And now and I come to the end so I put one double crochet in the chain space and one more not to forget one more the last one in third chain of turning chain from previous row so you have to finish like this not not in the chain space only but one more at the end it's kind of like at the, the border here inside the third chain of turning chain so this one two three so the row four and five you will repeat row two and three so four and five uh, just to repeat so you just start with chain four and then again the first you skip the first two double crochet stitch and then you put double crochet in the next stitch so just in the beginning not forget skip two and then the rest you just chain one and skip one one double crochet just repeat row two and three to finish row four and five i complete row five row six gonna be a little bit different not a little bit <laughs> row six is where the pattern begin this excited pattern this is coming now so to make that It's look complicated but it's very simple I show you chain two and then we turn our work 
we skip the first two double crochet stitch here then we go to the third one which is here we put a double crochet there so and then we chain three then we're gonna do three double crochet around this pole around this double crochet that we made can you see first you make two chain you skip two double crochet stitch you make one double crochet in the next stitch then you chain three then around this double crochet we put three double crochet around there two and three and then we skip the next three stitch one two three we go to the fourth one we put the double crochet into the fourth one like so and then we chain three make sure that you skip three one two three right and then you do the same you do three double crochet around this double crochet around this pole one two and three and this has created this little movement on our piece so now again you skip three then double crochet here now you're going to repeat this until the end. I see you there. So I come to my last one. I skip three, one, two, three, double crochet into the next one, chain three, and I put three, double crochet around the pole. And then here we have two stitch left one is here double crochet stitch here and one is at the corner here the turning chain so we skip this one then we put one double crochet in third chain of turning chain from the previous row and this is how we finish the row number six so pretty right and now row number seven is similar but then we do the other way around i show you now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and this four chain stand for, um, so this four chain stand for triple crochet. I will show you what is triple crochet if you don't know it yet in the end. So now we're going to do inside of this chain space here, inside there, you put one double crochet in, inside the chain space. That we made before now we chain three then you're going to put three double crochet around this pole again just like before two three and now we're going to skip and come to the next chain space here now we're just going to do one double crochet in the next chain space and then chain three again and this is the pattern of row seven you're going to repeat these steps oops like so and go to the next chain space here Just continue this now let's make the movement you see it's kind of like go this way and now it's going back just keep doing this until you arrive in the end and now my last one here I'm going to put into here just like a normal mm, what shall we call this normal square in the side I don't know I'll find the name later just the last time, last one of this pattern. So, one, two, three. Okay.
And now we're going to do a triple crochet to close the border of this row. So how to do a triple crochet, I'm going to show you. So you're going to put, you're going to take the yarn around the hook two times. See, now this, the second stitch from, from here, this is the one, two, the second one here. You put the hook there, take the yarn, pull through, take the yarn, and then you take the yarn again, pull through two, this first one, and take the yarn again, pull through two, and now take the yarn one more time and pull two, pull through two. So it's like three times. When you do a double crochet, you do two times, but triple crochet, you do three times. And this is how you complete row seven. Here we prepare for row eight. Row eight, we chain four. Then add the corner over there in the chain space. We add one single crochet. Chain three. The first four chain stand for one double crochet chain one. And then after we chain three, we put one single crochet in the next chain space. And then chain three and one single crochet in the next chain space. Chain three, one single crochet in the next chain space. And this is how the pattern goes along across just keep repeating chain three and one single crochet in the chain space like so now come to my last one put one single crochet now here i chain let me see i chain one and then i put one double crochet in the fourth chain of turning chain. Then I have complete row eight. And now we are continue row nine. For row nine, we chain three, turn our work, this chain three count as one double crochet. And in chain one space, we add one double crochet. And one double crochet in the single crochet from previous row. And inside the three chain space, we add three double crochet in that three chain space. Then one double crochet on top of that single crochet from the previous row. And again in the three chain space we add another three double crochet in that three chain space and this is how we continue this pattern of this row we put one double crochet on top of single crochet from the previous row and three double crochet in the three chain space we continue this until the end and here after we put one double crochet on top of the single crochet and the last chain space we put one double crochet in that chain space and then on the third chain of turning chain we put one last double crochet and that's how we finish row number nine 
This looks so pretty. And this is the pattern of what we're going to continue. I'm going to change the color from here. If you want to continue with this color or the color that you're using right now, you're going to repeat row 2 to row 9 to create the pattern. And this is just the first piece. You would do as long as you would like your kimono, the first piece to be. My one, I repeated five times. I change the color and then I swap back to the same color again. So you can just play around and see what, how the length or how long you would like to have. You can just um, measure on your body and see. This is the front part and you're going to just to repeat it the same step. Exactly the same steps to create the second piece like so so after you got two pieces of the front part we are now going to put it together and create the back part my one i made the length is about 31 no 32 inches and i have made one, two, three, four, five times of, of the pattern. As I mentioned before, the first one is this one. We have nine row. And the second one, we actually repeat row two to row nine to, to, make the, to get the pattern. You can see, this is row two to row nine. And then I keep repeating it and I change the color. Now I have two. Now I'm going to, to to put it together. I did not cut the yarn of the second one, so I still have the yarn on my hook. I'm going to do um, one double crochet in each stitch across to the end. So I chain three, turn my work. And I'm just going to do one double crochet. Now it's like at the back, we are creating the kind of the back line. So just do one double crochet across. Now it's my last one. I count and I encourage you to count as well. So it's my 40s, my 40 stitch in the end. And now I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna attach by doing the make the double crochet into this this side. Just like you would do a double crochet normally. And this is how you attach them. Then you continue. So. And then you're just going to do a one double crochet until the end of this row. And here the last one, we add one double crochet to the last stitch. So we then create the first row to connect these two pieces together. Basically the back part, we just gonna repeat all the whole steps that we create two pieces this is like the first row so the second row just repeat the second row from the beginning so we chain four now i have three chain in the hook I put one more chain four 
Then we turn our work. And the second row is to skip the first two stitch and one double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip next stitch, one double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next. And this is the pattern of row two. I'm just going to repeat this to complete row two. And now we finish the second row. And to create the back part, as I say, you're going to repeat over and over again. Row now we are row two, row one that I point the finger, row two is done, and then we're going to create row three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And after that, we're just gonna repeat from row two to row nine to make the pattern and just keep repeat it again and again until the length that you need. Perhaps you're just gonna continue until it arrive until the you see the edge of the front. And here I have completed the first row one to row nine. This is how it turns out. And I'm just going to repeat over and over again until the length that I like. So we are done. And this is, yeah, I folded. I make the back longer than the front. And um, I just find a, the way to make the armhole. So I will, I have already put the stitch marker here. I kind of put it on and see how big the armhole I would like to, to make. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sew it with my yarn needle down here until here. I'm not going to sew until the end because I like to keep this open. So I'm just going to sew it in till here. And the other side, I'm also going to do the same. I'm going to do the same level as this one to make, um, you know, the armhole. And I'm going to sew it down here until here. And that's it. And we are done with our gypsy kimono. You can put the fring if you want, but I decided not to put the fring. I was thinking to put the fring before, but I just changed my mind. Uh, also, the back, I used this color because the yarn is run out. And I actually stop at the row number seven because I kind of like this in the trim you know it's so very pretty so you just do what you feel and play with it play with the design stop wherever you want make as long as you wish you can also put make it longer or shorter just feel free i will put in the description below how big the armhole i'm gonna measure and then i'll let you know So this is how it looks in the daylight. Yesterday I actually show you already where I saw the side body. This is how I saw sewing in. You can do it the way you like. This is the inside. I can also, you can also wear the inside out, but I didn't mind to have this like this to the side. And now I'm going to do this side as well. I just have to make sure that they are same where I start, you know, 
right here I start from here this is the armhole from the top this is our shoulder part let's see and then it's come down here so let me measure for you So the armhole is approximately ten inches long. You can make it bigger if you wish if you wish so. <laughs> but I don't think smaller would be a good idea because no, it's good. But do what you feel like and now I'm going to saw the other side as well just make sure that you do the same level and that's it you're done here actually some extra that I made um, as you see here on the top and the neckline around there as you see, it's a little bit fragile. That's what I feel. So I wanted to add single crochet to make it a little stronger. So I used two strands of yarn. This is like optional. You can just don't have to do it. But this is how I do it. Just slip knot and I add one single crochet. It's not so long from the neckline, just a little, little bit. Um, I think I add. Let me see how many. One, two, three. Yeah, I think five from the right, and then in the middle, one single crochet, and then five to the left like so so here I'm just gonna speed <laughs> I'm not crochet that fast so just to show you how it looks like actually yeah. and that's it the neckline and here I show you how I add the pocket I use three strands and the hook side eight millimeter. This is totally optional. I just try and see how I like. And I like it to have a pocket <laughs> so I can put my hand in it. I make a slip knot and I chain, let's see how many, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's see. I just measure how big should it be. 16, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 16. Ah, 16 and then I add three, three more chain to build up the yarn. Uh, this hook is not very easy to work with especially it's very big then I put one double crochet and four chain from hook and then one double crochet in each stitch across this is like optional you can make smaller I mean 
less chain or longer chain this is up to you so this is how I do the first row and I guess I did seven rows all together So I have finished the first row and I did seven rows all together to create the pocket. Just keep going like so, chain three to build up the yarn. Then turn our work and just one double crochet and four chain from hook. This is very simple, you know already how to do it. So I'm just going to skip this part. Just continue. If you want bigger, make bigger. If you want smaller, make smaller. I did seven rows. And after that, I chain one. I just put one single crochet to close at the top because this is going to be the top part where I will not sew into the gimino. This is going to be the open part so I want it to be harder. For that reason I add one single crochet along. And this is also if you want to do this or not, this is completely up to you. You don't have to, I just like it a little bit thicker in this part. And we're gonna sew it in to our kimono now. It doesn't look perfect though, but it's okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna find a position where you would like to add your pocket. For me, I like to add where the orange color. So I'm just gonna put the pocket over there and find the right position and again you're just going to sew it in with the sewing needle the yarn needle And you are now done with your gypsy kimono. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the video tutorial and very happy with your woodland cardigan. Put it on and go spin around outside. Enjoy this beautiful piece, heart made with love. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.